Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University. In this video, I will explain how to run multiple Tranquility and Singularity clients on your Macintosh for Eve Online. If you don't play Eve Online on a Macintosh, then this video is not of concern to you and you can stop watching at this point. A word of warning before we proceed, however. The methods that I'm about to show you require making manual changes to files or folders that are kept inside invisible areas on your Macintosh. Generally speaking, on Macintosh Operating System 10, invisible files and folders contain system critical data. If you go messing around with these files or folders randomly without knowing what you're doing, you can break your Macintosh in serious ways, which would then require that the Mac be brought in for professional repair work or professional tech support. That's why Apple keeps these things invisible so that you can't accidentally break your Mac. If something is invisible and you don't know what it is, don't touch it. That being said, these methods will require us to work in invisible areas, uh, and I will lay out my instructions very carefully and precisely, but you must follow my instructions precisely and with care. That being said, oh, I am not legally responsible if you break your Macintosh. You are taking a risk. All right, so open up a terminal window. First, you need to show these invisible files. Uh, and on operating systems 10.6, 10.7, 10.8, that's Snow Leopard, Lion, and Mountain Lion, respectively, this is the command that you use. On Mavericks, it's slightly different. There's a capitalization difference. This letter in the word Finder is capital on Snow Leopard, Lion, and Mountain Lion, and it's lowercase in Mavericks. So you do have to be aware of which version of the operating system you're using. I'm using 10.8.5, which falls under Mountain Lion, so I use a capital F in Finder. Capitalization is important, whether something is uppercase or lowercase makes a difference. So make sure you get the upper and lowercase correct. Whichever the case might happen to be, put the command into the terminal, press return. You would then want to do kill all finder, press return. And you should now have invisible files show up should look something like this. There should be a whole bunch of things that start with periods, other things that are slightly grayed out. Uh, if this doesn't show up, you might need to then do a machine restart and hopefully then it should work. Uh, you should see the invisible files and folders. So with that being done, uh, let's go to where we keep the EVE Online applications. In my particular case, um, I have my EVE Online game. On the root level of the hard drive, there's the games folder, then the EVE Online folder, and that's where I keep my EVE Online apps. Uh, your directory structure might be a little different. Uh, so let's suppose we have a regular, plain old default EVE Online application, and I want to multibox Tranquility clients. How I do that is as follows. So this is a fresh EVE Online application uh, that I just downloaded. Um, suppose that I just downloaded it. It's in its default state. Right click, duplicate. And then the duplication process will get started and we twiddle our thumbs. Okay, the copying process is almost complete. There we go. So now we have EVE Online and EVE Online copy. So what we do next is we click once, click again. Don't double click in rapid succession, otherwise that launches it. That's not what we want to do. So we just want to rename this EVE Online TQ1. Then click somewhere else. Now we take our EVE Online copy 
and we rename that. In my case, I will rename it TQ4 since I don't want to mess up my other two clients in this demonstration. So we now have TQ1 and TQ4. So we're going to run two different accounts on EVE Online at the same time. And we have the EVE Online TQ1 app and the EVE Online TQ4 application. The next thing we do is we launch our EVE Online TQ1 app. Let's wait for it to start up. The client is ready. Uh, I'm going to close the launcher right click. Uh, I don't want to actually show you my login credentials in this video. From a security standpoint, that's an extremely bad idea. So I'm going to show the package contents. Uh, sorry, let me tr try that again. Right click EVE Online TQ1, show package contents, contents, resources, and we have an EVE Online that's inside your EVE Online. Double click on this to launch it. Twiddle thumbs. There we go. And it's trying to load the end user license agreement. There we go. Scroll to the bottom, accept. Let me hit escape, switch this into window mode. Uh, make sure this is set to a reasonable resolution. There we go. So hopefully you should be able to see uh, the window now. So here's EVE Online. It started up, now I'm gonna quit it. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to your primary hard drive, uh, alt double left click, open up users, alt double left click, whatever the name of your primary account is on the Macintosh. Uh, next we have library. This is one of those invisible folders I mentioned earlier. Double left clicking, alt double left, uh, I'm sorry, option double left clicking, it's not going to work. You need to right click, open. Right click is the only way to open an invisible folder. Now we have application support under the library. So you're going to, first of all, left click it once to select it, right click, make alias. So now we have the application support alias. We're going to drag that in to the folder where we have the game applications. So there's our application support alias. Uh, we go into application support and here's the new EVE Online folder in application support. This is the folder that contains all of your preferences, all of the data about uh, what chat channels you join automatically on login, which chat channels you have safe passwords for, your window layouts, your graphical preferences, overview settings, screenshots that you've taken, uh, imports and exports of your overview settings, the whole nine yards. This is where it's all stored, in here. Now, generally speaking, I don't think it's a good idea to have two or more applications trying to access the same application support folder at the same time, especially not if we're talking about a Tranquility client and a Singularity client trying to use the same application support folder. This is the thing that's tripping up a lot of my fellow Mac users when trying to use CC clients. So the first things first, we're going to rename this to EVE Online space TQ1. Press return. There we go. Now we're going to right click, we're going to duplicate it. Here we have EVE Online TQ1 copy. We're going to rename that to EVE Online TQ4. Push return. So now we have EVE Online Tranquility 1, EVE Online Tranquility 4 in application support. Now, the thing is, 
EVE Online TQ1 and TQ4 are still trying to look for a folder in application support called EVE Online, but it's not here anymore. We just renamed it. We also don't want these two applications trying to create the same application support folder of the same name. So here's what we do next. So again, show package contents for EVE Online TQ1. Contents, resources. Find the EVE Online that's in your EVE Online. Right click, show package contents again. Contents, info.plist. Right click on this and open with Xcode will work if you happen to have it. Most people probably don't. Text edit will work just fine. So if you open it up in text edit, it looks like this. And what you are looking for is CF bundle name. Underneath that is Eve Online. Put in TQ1. Now look further down, prefs folder name. Next line down, change that to Eve Online TQ1. Save that. Then close the file. Next, let's close this, close this. We go to EVE Online TQ4, right click, show package contents, contents, resources. Again, find the EVE Online that's inside your EVE Online. Right click, show package contents a second time. Contents, info.plist. And let's open this up with text edit. And again, we need to find CF bundle name. We add Eve Online TQ4. Look for prefs folder name. Change the next line down to Eve Online TQ4. Save, close. We close this. The next thing we need to do, uh, we need to right click this application make alias eve online tq4.app alias and we are going to drag this back into our main game folder and because i don't want the things being grouped together i think I, that's why i had alias an extra alias in the name uh, why did that not work because I put an extra space. There we go. All right. So I have the aliases here, and I launch the game from these aliases. Do not launch the game from here or here. Because if you do that, if you just double click here, that's going to open up the launcher. Then the launcher is going to detect that you've made changes to this thing, the launcher will detect that you've made changes to this, assume it was a mistake, and change it back. And that breaks everything all over again. So you do not launch the game from here or here. You launch the game from here. Or you make an alias of this and you launch it from here. Personally, I also drag these aliases into the dock. So now I have an alias here for it. All right. Now I don't want to confuse myself later after this video is done, so let me get rid of that. All right, so you always launch the game from these aliases. So once you've done all of that, congratulations. Now you're ready to multi-box on Tranquility. Next step, we're going to set up a Singularity client. To do that, we need to duplicate one of our Tranquility clients. So Command D for duplicate, and we again twiddle our thumbs. All right, the copy process is almost finished. So now that it's been duplicated, we're going to change the name of this to Eve Online CC4. Push return, and let's close this. 
we're going to take our EVE Online TQ4 in our, I'm sorry, this is an application support again. So Macintosh HD, users, the name of your account, library, application support. We're going to left click EVE Online TQ4, duplicate it, and change the name of this to CC4. We're going to open up EVE Online CC4. We're going to right click config, open with uh, other text edit. Now in this file you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and from the forums on from the Macintosh board on the EVE Online forums uh, you'll find a thread started by CCP Sledgehammer Singularity Launcher Locking TQ Out. Uh, scroll down to my post on reply number four and you're going to look for this stuff, app defaults, eve.exe, transgaming, command line add, server 87.237.3850. Get a copy this, go back to text edit, left click once at the bottom of the file, and paste. And just for safe measure, I'm going to add another character turn. Uh, doesn't matter how many character turns there are, I think. So we've now added this bit down here. This is the part in the config file that will tell your Singularity client to go to the Singularity test server located at this address rather than try to poke Singularity. So you need this, you need this bit down here if it's a config file for a Singularity client. Save this, close it. We don't need this anymore. And we can close this. So here's the EVE Online that's inside your EVE Online. You're going to right click, make alias, preface this with alias so that it sorts differently in the alphabetical order. EVE Online CC4. Drag this up into the folder where I keep my game applications. Singularity update commands. So what you have here is open space, and you're going to drag this thing, the launcher for EVE Online CC4, drag that in, dash dash ARGS space slash server, colon 87.237.38.50, return. So that's going to open up the launcher and tell it to look at the Singularity server by IP address. So it's going to look at singularity rather than tranquility. So we twiddle our thumbs again while we wait for the singularity patch to be applied. Alright, so after watching the progress bar fill twice, once for the download and once for the actual patching process, it is now almost complete. There we go. Client is ready. So now, um, again in EVE Online CC4, show package contents, contents, resources, EVE Online.app, right click, show package contents again, contents, info.plist, open with other, text edit, CF bundle name, add EVE Online, CC4. Go down to Pref's folder name, Eve Online CC4. Save, close. Close this. Now at this point you have one Singularity client. You can go ahead and left click the launcher once and hit Command D however many times. Uh, to duplicate your Singularity client. And you will now have a set of Singularity clients uh, that are ready to run Singularity. If you need to, up, if Singularity gets updated with new patch, you will need to put this command into terminal uh, to update one of your Singularity clients. 
If you need to update your other Singularity clients, if Singularity has a new patch pushed to it, you can find the patch file here. Contents, Resources, Cache, left click the file once, Command C to copy. Go into EVE Online CC3, for example, Show Package Contents, Contents, Resources, Cache. Double click Cache to open that as a separate window. Then hit Command V to paste the file, and that will duplicate it for you. Okay. Then you can go and run the appropriate Singularity Update command for CC3 and put that into your terminal. All right. So that's pretty straightforward. So those are the instructions for uh, duplicating uh, for multiboxing Tranquility and Singularity EVE Online clients on a Macintosh. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching.